Hello friends, today let's look at a super sensational trick to impress your audience during a presentation or a training. Presentation will be boring if it is not interactive. With this cool trick, you can pull the audience attention towards you. What if, what if we can have a live poll on that super boring PowerPoint slide? Wouldn't it be so amazing? There are many applications to achieve this. Today I'm introducing you an application called Poll Everywhere. This is a freemium app which means you can use it free for small audience. If you want to conduct a huge seminar, you can subscribe their premium service starting with $10 per month. Now let's learn how to set it up super quick and easy. Open Poll Everywhere website. You can find the link on the description. Once you open the website, sign up a free account and login. Once you logged in, you can see a default poll to start with. You can create your own poll. By default, this is not active. Deactive means no one can do a poll now. You need to activate it from here and share the link with your audience to start the poll. You can also delete or modify this from this option. Let's start edit this default template. In this template, result will display in a bar chart. There are other format as well. Let's edit this default text to our choice of heading and then upload the pictures for the choice followed by the text. In this scenario, we are selecting social media icon. Once complete, push on the save button and see by clicking this activate button here you can test the poll. See when I select the YouTube icon, vote mark for B which is YouTube in the left sidebar. You can also clear the previous selection and do a re-poll. Under the visual settings, we can adjust the result view from bar to column or donut shape. I'm going with the column chart, it looks better in vertical. We can also select the theme from here. With this freemium, we have only few choices, but if you go with the premium, you will have more customization choice. Now let's do the integration of this poll to our PowerPoint presentation. On the website, go under app menu, go down a bit, you can see available integrations. It has an integration with almost all the presentation application. I'm selecting the PowerPoint for Windows. Use the download button to download that application. Once downloaded, execute that file. Let me speed up this session a bit. My installation completed in few seconds, but for you it will take a few minutes because I fast forwarded that part. Once installation part completed, open your PowerPoint, you will see a brand new menu on your PowerPoint ribbon called Poll Everywhere. Click on it, 
Use login button to login with your Paul Everywhere account which will establish a connection between your PowerPoint and the Paul Everywhere Now the fun begins. Go to insert option and click on the activity. This will list all your poll you have created on that website. In our case there is only one poll. Select the poll and insert on the slide. A new slide will appear on your powerpoint. To just give you a feel of a real presentation let me create a couple of slides. I am doing a fast forward here again. This is a word cloud I created earlier from a website using some random words. If you want me to create a video on this please comment below. I use this kind of tools a lot. This is the best example for a person like me who has no idea or a sense about designing can also survive. Because there are tons of tools online. I am also planning to create a video about designing for known designers like me. Now let's do the poll. Send the polling link to your audience via WhatsApp or even you can even create a QR code with that link. Poll link will capture the screen name. You can either make it more restrictive or even anonymous depends upon your requirement. What I did is only with the screen name so that it's easy for the audience. I did two vote for YouTube. One from my mobile browser and other from my PC. Look at the result. 67 verse 33. Let's do one more from another device. This time my daughter voted for TikTok. Now Facebook 25. YouTube 50 and TikTok 25. Yes, YouTube have a clear victory. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment your doubts and click the bell icon for future interesting video. Thanks again.